This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the RV Advisor Podcast. My name is Tom Alexander, and joining me today from Camper Revamper, it is Jenna Luco. How are you, Jenna? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. uh, It's great to have you, and you're speaking to us today from uh, the great city of Los Angeles. And uh, how are things going out there? I know the... um, Fires have been uh, throughout California, and how how are you guys doing in the LA area? We're doing pretty good. My husband and I, my family's from Montana, so we were able to spend a little bit of time in Montana this summer while everything was kind of shut down around here, which was a nice little reprieve from all the craziness. So we're back and kind of settled in, and things are easing up a little, but it's still an interesting time. Yeah, it is. It's an interesting time, no matter where you're where you're standing these days. Um, And I know that uh, California certainly had its share of uh, challenges with with, uh, Corona. And uh, we are too here in South Florida as well. We seem to be in a couple of states that uh, it's fairly prevalent. But uh, things I think are hopefully starting to slowly turn back for you guys, uh, getting in, heading in the right direction. Yes, it seems like it. That's good, I'm glad to hear it. Well, enough of the sad stuff. Let's uh, let's let's get into let's get into <laughs> some, some fun stuff and what you do. Camper Camper Revamper. Uh, I love the name. That's just a fantastic name. And uh, and you know, I tried to look up Revamper, and I you may have invented a word. I think uh, I don't know. Is, <laughs> <laughs> revamp is a word. I'm gonna give my husband credit for that one. Re- yes, revamp's a word. Revamping, but Revamper is uh, the person who does the revamping. So there you go. Your husband came up with that one, huh? Yes. I like it. I like it very much. Uh, so really, you know, what you, it, it's kind of in the title. You take uh, trailers <laughs> and campers and such and, and uh, restore, well, restore and revamp and just, uh, you know, give them a whole new life, I guess, right? Yeah. So my Instagram account is really a spot where I'm sharing a lot of other people's transformations and kind of just bringing us all together as a community and showing what other people are doing. Um, Some of my favorite parts of this, just seeing the creativity of everyone in the community and the way that they take these spaces and transform them. And whether it's functional or just really fun stuff, I just love seeing that. So Camper Revamper was created for, to become kind of a place to share all of that creativity with the camper community. And, and uh, I'm guessing that the, uh, the, the response has been quite favorable. Uh, uh, how, how are your, how are your uh, views? I guess you get a lot of folks checking in on you. Yeah, we do. We've got quite the awesome following. Um, a lot of people are interested. It, I'm amazed at how many people every day are buying these old vintage campers and cre- coming up with their own projects. It just seems like it's kind of um, spiraling into it's a trend that people are doing. So I love seeing it. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, we're in a time now, despite all the, you know, challenges we've got ahead of us with everything with COVID and such, it's, it's the, the RV business has never seen a bigger boom. Uh, it's been all over the news, yes. no matter where you go. It seems like I can find people that know nothing about RVs and say, hey, I heard that's doing really well. <laughs> it's just everywhere. Yep. All and of a sudden. On top, yeah, and on top of that is is that uh, you know folks that uh, have a little bit of creativity or a lot of creativity in your case, uh, you know they they look at these uh, campers and stuff that could maybe use restoring, and they they see it in a whole new light, and they they're able to to give it a a, a, a life, a new life. I'm looking here on your Instagram page, and I'm. Uh, paging down and I'm looking at some of the interiors of these things and they're absolutely stunning. So it just, it really looks incredible, really looks terrific. Um, and you have at the bottom of your page or near the bottom of your page, the only trip you will regret is the one you don't take. And I would imagine yep. that uh, <laughs> that also includes, um, that also includes, you know, not just the trip going somewhere, but uh, also the trips you might take on on some kind of a personal 
uh, quest, a personal adventure. And it seems like you've done that. We want to learn a whole lot more about the, what you do, your renovation tip, tips, your renovation tricks, and everything you do. And uh, let's, uh, let's find out about that on the other side of the break. I'm speaking with Jenna Luco from Camper Revamper. My name is Tom Alexander, and this is the RV Advisor Podcast. We'll be back in just a moment. RV owners and those thinking about owning want to maximize the fun and minimize the hassle of buying an RV? You need GPS. It's Gigi's personal service. Our $350 package gets you me, the expert advice, and a host of outstanding services. Visit thervadvisor.com. Welcome back to the RV Advisor podcast. I'm Tom Alexander and I'm joined today by the camper revamper herself. It is... uh, Jenna Luco and uh, Jenna, you and your husband uh, before the whole COVID thing hit, um, took a took a, a little trip through the South and uh, made made your way around uh, several states, I guess. And it was in a new a new old right new old camper. Is that how that works? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. <laughs> so I, a few years ago, bought a 1959 Shasta Air Flight, and this was like my ultimate, the vintage camper that I wanted to restore. And so with my resources at the time, I knew I needed to find one that had fairly good bone. And so I ended up finding this amazing camper about 30 miles from me after about a year of looking, and it ended up just being the perfect Shasta. So I spent the next few months and I completely remodeled the inside I gutted it, I painted it, I put down new floors, new cabinets, we did new curtains, the whole nine yards as far as the interior. And it's always been, I just love it because it's just a little adventure mobile sitting in my driveway. <laughs> and so whenever I get the wild hair to go adventure, it's right there waiting for me. And so in February of this year, I actually called up a girlfriend of mine and I said, I wanna do a two week camper trip Uh, do you want to come with me? And let's just go have a crazy fun time. We'll take the camera, we'll get some cool shots and just go on an adventure. So we took off from Los Angeles. Uh, We spent a night in Hemet, actually visiting another vintage trailer restorer. Mm -hmm. Um, And then from there, we went to Joshua Tree, where we spent a few days exploring the park and camping out there. Um, Headed over to Sedona for a few days, which was spectacular. I cannot say enough good things about Sedona. Uh, visited the canyons up there, the Antelope Canyon, and just spent like four or five days there, which was absolutely incredible. Um, And from there, we came back to Temecula and did wine country for a few days. So we kind of got a great little tour around a few states and got to do some ATVing and wine tasting and hiking and all kinds of fun stuff. Wow, that does sound like a lot of fun. So it was just a kind of a a, a girl's trip. Uh, was a, was a, you? Uh, yeah. Your husband was not uh, on on that particular. Adventure. <laughs> okay, so he gets to name no, you, let, you let him name camper revamper, but uh, as far as the fun <laughs> trips, he's he stay back a little bit, right? <laughs> I'm just I'm just having fun with you. Um, I, I'm ge- I'm guessing that uh, uh, he, you guys do take. Uh, the, fair amount of trips together and do things and, and have, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fascinated by just all the, the, you know, the little campers. Um, I'm looking at the pictures and all the things, you know, you see these things that are fairly good size and then others that are really, really small. Um, and they just, yeah. you know, even the small ones look just really inviting, you know, and, and like, Hey, that'd be a lot of fun to just chill out in there. I'm looking at one, um, uh, let's see here. This one is, it's kind of pink and white, painting the exterior, a guest post by uh, Mar- Mar- Mariah, I think it is. And um, yes, you know the one so I'm talking cute. about? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. And you know, it's funny, especially with a two week trip with two girls, I figured for sure by the end of that, a 13 foot camper, <laughs> we're going to need a little more space. But I was amazed. <laughs> entire two week trip is just it's there's everything you need we have a bed uh we have our full kitchen and cookware we've got stove oven coffee pot and then the little dinette set and that's really all we needed like we were there to adventure and 
that 13 feet was perfect for us. Oh, well, that's great. That's great. And, uh, you know, I, it's, it's uh, sometimes I think, you know, boy, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be fun? I, I'm not sure if I would be the guy that could survive more than about a week in something maybe that small. I don't know. You know, maybe I could. Fair enough. I've never tried it. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, I hear a lot of folks say, hey, we have a blast, you know, we, we get into a, a, a park, a, a RV park or wherever we're going and, you know, there's great uh, facilities there with showers and this, that and the other and, you know, we don't need, we don't worry about anything, you know, we got our place to rest our heads at night and a little kitchen and we're set, you know. Um, Absolutely. I see. I, I recently got to take a look at some of these, you know, massive $2 million <laughs> RVs with all the oh, my goodness. <laughs> fully decked out, and I think, wow, you know, this is nicer than my house. Uh, but they're some they're, of them are so incredible. They're really they're really incredible. But I I like the concept of of just the smallness and the you know just going and and uh, but the restorations themselves. How long you know take us into that a little bit? Like how when you see something, and you're like, you know what, this has a lot of potential. Uh, 59 Shasta, for example, or, or whatever you've got. And you say, okay, you know what? You eyeball it and you say, well, this will take, you know, X amount of weeks or months or whatever to pool together. Is it something you talk about with the person who might be interested in using your services or, or, or you do, do you just restore them on your own and then sell them? Or how does that work exactly? So I have only restored my own, um, mm -hmm. and that was really more of an interior remodel. So the, the ones that I share in my Instagram are actually other people's. They're not necessarily work that I've done. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that like with the campers, it really just depends what you get in there. Like sometimes things will look great and you start to like peel back some walls or something. And you can pretty much always assume there's water damage in any sort of vintage camper. Um, so it kind of, once you start to get into it, you just see how much work there is. So. Gotcha. And um, so, so uh, do you have plans for, I mean, have you been able to get, get away a little bit or do anything uh, during this stretch that we're all in, they're all dealing with, or, or, or do you have plans for down the line a little bit and get, get away, a getaway planned? Yeah, a little bit. We, so I want to get back out in my camper again soon. Um, currently my camper surely needs to some work on it before it's ready for a long haul again, but I want to take it out on a couple trips around here. Maybe hit the beach or Big Bear, California. There's some mountains up there. Yeah. I just think it's such a great way to just jump in the car. You don't have to go far, get into the outdoors and get mm -hmm. a little break from the city. Yeah. Um, I know that, uh, you know, there's a lot of beautiful destinations right there, uh, just outside the, the metropolitan area. That's not too far of a drive and you can, you can get away. Um, I love yes. all of California. It's just one of my favorite places. Um, do, what, what do you and your husband do uh, regularly as far as, you know, work? Are you, are you uh, in the entertainment industry, which I know is a question that a lot of people probably think, oh, well, they live in LA. They must be doing something with entertainment. <laughs> what do you guys do? We are. We're both in the entertainment industry. My husband's a film editor and we're currently, we have a few projects we're working on together so wonderful oh that's terrific yeah I uh thank you I have a son who is a uh, a young filmmaker he's won several awards as a student filmmaker and he's making his uh professional journey now he's just getting started so we'll see where it all goes and oh uh, good for him yeah so he he loves it and uh I grew up on the other side of the silver screen I my, my family had movie theaters so I grew up in the theater movie theater business so I was always interested in the production side because I was on the other side we were showing the movies but not very making, cool right but uh so <laughs> your, your husband edits films I'm sure that's uh certainly a challenge yeah yeah it's, it's yeah it, yeah it, yeah you know, he does all of kinds of, of different projects but yeah yeah <laughs> do you work for a studio <laughs> there's or is always he time crunches and strange uh he's a freelancer okay wonderful wonderful yeah. that's terrific well this has been a lot of fun I we we um uh, you know want to hear more about are you gonna you have more restorations in mind and plan to down the line uh, currently my next big project will be restoring my own um 
and you know really kind of rebuilding it there's some framework that needs to go into restructuring it so that will be the next the next big project how how handy are you with tools and the physical part of it versus the design i mean are you are you pretty good with a with a tool belt <laughs> I love, I'm so handy. I love it. Really? <laughs> my husband, wow, when we got married, he said, tell you what, he's like, if you're the handy person, I will handle all the technical stuff. <laughs> all right. So. Well, wow. What a great partnership. That's terrific. Cause I, you know, I, I can't get the toaster to work, you know? So it's just like, you know, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a, you know, pretty, I was okay with electronics at one time, but uh, when it comes to a hammer, yeah, not so good. Not so good. I gotta, I gotta defer. Oh, I have you know. a lot of fun with it. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. That's <laughs> great. Well, you've done some some great work, and we love the site. Again, it's Camper Revamper. It's Camper Dash Revamper. Uh, dot com. Uh, you want to check that out, and of course, uh, you can. Uh, you're also on Instagram, and you can uh, check out all the all the cool design and and uh, just just really cool it's really neat stuff to see because uh, you know these these old campers are getting their classic vintage campers and they're getting a new life by folks like yourself which is terrific i love it well thank you jenna i really really thank appreciate you. your time and the best to your uh, your husband and uh hopefully we can have you on on again sometime soon thank you so much i really appreciate it wonderful our guest was uh, jenna luco and she is from Camper Revamper. That's campers-revamper.com is where you can find her. And uh, Jenna spoke to us today from Los Angeles, California. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody. Mm -hmm.